here are our instructions for today's lesson. <clears throat> now, yesterday we introduced narrowing a topic to a seed story. And the emphasis of that was, hey, when you're writing a personal narrative, it's most beneficial to narrow it down into a very specific moment as opposed to a broad range. Okay? And yesterday you practiced that um, by taking one of your examples from the previous slides, from slide four here, you copied onto slide four, and then you chose one and you wrote it. The how it would be as a watermelon, a slice of that, and a seed, okay? Today we're just expanding on that, and what you're gonna wanna do, and what your instructions are gonna be to do, are to, you chose one, choose three more scenarios that you've come up with here, so three different ones, and you're gonna add them to the list here. So if you've already written some, you can just space down uh, below it. So for instance, if, you know, you should be filled out at a time you were nervous, sad, angry, scared, happy. Um, so let's say that my, um, my nervous was, let's see here, let's look at that. Nervous, when I had to perform at a piano recital, okay? So let's say that that was my, theoretically. So, well, my watermelon, uh, the bigger picture of that would be, I would say, uh, performing. So, I actually, I want to make it full. The time I performed, the times I perform my piano in front of people, because that's kind of broad, right? I, I probably have lots of instances of that. Um, a slice of that would be, well, the time I had my first piano recital. And then to take it even further, to take it to that seed, okay, I'm going to say, okay, I want a, a specific moment and focus on a specific moment of that piano recital. Um, I'm going to say the time my piano instructor introduced me at my first recital and everyone was watching. So do you see how I'm getting narrow and narrow? I went from, hey, performing in front of people, my piano. And then my slice was, hey, here's a specific time that I have piano recital, my first one. And then even deeper than that is, hey, the time I felt, the time my piano instructor introduced me at my first recital and everyone was watching. So I could tell that story very vividly. Like, my, here's Mr. Morrison, my piano instructor said. I felt nervous as I saw all the eyes watching me. I had prepared my piece for months and now it was time to perform this for everyone. But I could tell people were wondering how I would do. All of those things, because the narrower you can get, again, the more, I'm having trouble with that word today, the more specific ugh, you can get today, the more details that you'll be able to write about in a personal narrative. And that's why we want to get to the seat, okay? Um, so what I want you to do is, I said three more, let's do two more, because you already had one from yesterday. Choose two more instances, okay, from your chart right here. That's slide four. Choose two more that you think you could write about and narrow down to a real specific moment. Okay. So again, what you're doing is looking at this slide, looking at the story, and then or the idea you came up with already, and say, how can I narrow that down to a specific moment? And that's what you'll do. So when you're all done, then if we're doing two more, you should have three total because we have the one from yesterday. So we should have three total then from yesterday. And again, you'll just have to kind of it's all one text box just hit enter down to go to them. You can skip a space if you want. But then you should have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And if it goes over, if you need to add another text box, that's fine, okay? But again, just narrowing it down to the seat.
So on this slide, by the time it's all said and done, we should have three total seed stories.